हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन दिज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar opinions, and Dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. We heard this week that Al Sudani again told the citizens that they can expect a new currency and so we know it's not more of the 30 denominations. Since the CBI told us they are not going to issue the 20k note or any more other of these notes along this line. So what could this mean? It can only mean fresh new notes of lower denominations reverting back to the currency denominations of the past and finally ditching these 30 notes. That video is huge. They are educating the people about the deletion of the zeros project. the zeros will come off the exchange rate which changes the value and then at the same time inside a rack new notes are released without the three zeros it is that simple your notes outside a rack remain the same and you can exchange them after the re happens have you ever wondered about the process of a country joining the world trade organization wto today We are going to dive into the story of Iraq's efforts to become a member of this global trade body. Let's explore the details as the Iraqi Minister of Trade heads to Geneva to lead the negotiating team. The Iraqi Minister of Trade is traveling to Geneva to lead the country's negotiating team for its accession to the World Trade Organization. This is a significant step for Iraq as it looks to integrate its economy more deeply into the global trading system. The minister's visit to Geneva marks an important phase in Iraq's long-standing efforts to join the WTO. Iraq first applied for WTO membership back in 2004, not long after the fall of Saddam Hussein's regime. Since then, the country has been working to align its trade laws and policies with the WTO's requirements. This process involves reviewing existing regulations, making necessary changes, and engaging in negotiations with current WTO members as the minister heads to Geneva the focus will be on addressing any remaining hurdles and finalizing the terms of Iraq's accession one key aspect will be discussing tariff rates and market access commitments for various goods and services Iraq will need to demonstrate that its trade regime is transparent predictable and in line with WTO principles The negotiations will also touch on issues like intellectual property rights, investment policies, and support for domestic industries. Iraq will need to find a balance between protecting its nascent industries and opening up its markets to international competition. Successful WTO membership would be a significant milestone for Iraq, offering several benefits. It would provide greater access to export markets, encourage foreign investment, and help the country integrate into global supply chains this in turn could boost economic growth create jobs and improve the overall standard of living for the iraqi people so as the iraqi minister of trade sets out to geneva all eyes will be on the outcome of these crucial negotiations the road to wto accession may not be easy but it represents an important step forward for Iraq's economic development and integration into the global trading system be sure to stay tuned for updates on this story and let me know your thoughts in the comments below